Hi, on the last video, we created some instances and we also created some functionalities. Now, it's time for us to create some properties for our functionalities, for our methods, for our class. All right, so the first thing that we, we are going to be doing is using a, a keyword called var. All right, this keyword is going to allow us to create properties that we can use within our class. All right, so this is very unique right here and we just now after the keyword var because the keyword var means variable we need to put just a regular variable in PHP with, with a dollar sign and then the name of the variable and the value if you decide to alright so we know we got four wheels in a car and I'm going to create a couple properties here and I'm going to show you how to use them later so Let's create another one. What, what do we know that a car has? Hood has a hood. So we're going to do a, a value of one there. We have uh, an engine. A value of one. We have doors. That's another uh, important property, right? And we can have a default of four doors, all right? So now we added some properties to our class or should I say uh, object, right? Well, so let's take uh, the Mercedes-Benz out actually and just take it out completely right here. All right, so how do we use these properties here, right? How do we use it? Well, everything here inside this class, we need to actually use it with an instance. That's the way we do it, right? Because this whole thing is meant to be used as an object. So we create it right here, right, by instantiating it, and then we use it. So now that we have this instance here and we put it in a variable, let's go ahead and create and do something with it. B and W, and then I want to see how many wheels. First, I have to echo this out. There we go. So now we use the word echo like we usually do with the instance with a variable here that we we you know we assign this instance to this variable and now this whole thing is called an instance right so we use the minus and the greater than with wheels now we don't put the dollar sign here all right we don't put the dollar sign to echo this property we already have the dollar sign defined up here the way we use it down here is we don't do that we don't put the dollar sign right here anymore all right just know that right so let's let's do something else let's go ahead so we know we have four wheels another thing that I want to show you is that we can assign right so if I wanted to I can go ahead and do this BMW right and I can say it's right here wheels eight we can change the value of this property right here on the instance if we wanted to right we can also use a method to do that we can also use this and now one thing that I wanted to show you is that every time we refer to this car class inside the class every time we refer to this we refer it with a word called this so let me just take this off and I show you this this keyword here all right this is the way we reference this this class inside the class so we can use the word this and we can say this wheels equal to 10. All right? And if I take this off here, okay? All I have to do now to use this, right now it's taking the default right now because I'm not doing anything with it. All right? I'm not actually calling this method. I'm not calling it. I need to call it right here. So I got to do B M B N W the method and boom now when I call the method this method is gonna take care changing this wheels value to 10 and when it changes to 10 then if I call it again it's already changed this method was able to do that for me all right so know that inside the class we refer to its name with a keyword called this so we don't have to say car in here we don't have to say BMW because 
we can do that we are actually creating an instance outside we create an instance outside and use it outside inside the class we refer to it by this just know that all right instead of this or this right because what we do here is did we have the instance which is this here the instance right the, we create an instance with new car and we assign it a value we assign it a very we assign it to a variable and then we use it so we create this whole functionality right here inside the class we create it as an instance and then assign it to a variable and then this we use this variable to to do different things inside here right so but to refer to this because we refer to this whole thing this object outside with this we just use the word key this all right I know it's a little confusing but know that we use this to to do things inside the class all right to refer to this object to this class all right so now we change that and we can also come back here and change it again if we wanted to but I'm not going to do that so for example let's create you know what I feel like creating a new instance and just let's create a new instance of this card class all right and let's call it truck how about that and let's just take this out of here all right so I have this I'm echoing here wheels right for the BMW and what I want to do is I'm gonna concatenate here a BR tag just to make a little space and what I want to do is I want to echo the truck I want to I want the truck to have different wheels because in the truck we have what do we have we have more wheels right so what I'm going to do is as a matter of fact I think I can echo the whole thing out right here like this echo wheels 10 there we go we can actually even echo the whole thing without even assigning it before right so what we did here was we grabbed the, we created a new instance called truck all right then we are changing the wheels value to 10 and then we are echoing at the same time we could do that all right so keep that in mind all right so now the truck has 10 wheels we have a, di a different instance with 10 wheels and we can also have of course the other properties here we can print that out all right just know that we can do that <coughs> now we can create a, another method here and we can call this method um, create doors or something like that and I could say this doors um, I don't know sits all right and that would change the value every time I called this it would change the value to six right so I can go ahead and say you know what truck right and I could say doors and I could just echo it well if I echo this like this it would give me four let's put a BR tag here let's just concatenate this right so we got four here but I don't want four for my truck you know let's assign it a different value let's have some let's call that that this method right here so we, we created it for something let's call it right so let's let's say you know what truck so we refer to a truck if I remember how to write truck and then boom so we call this method here we change a value to six and now and now truck now truck has a value of six every time we call this method it would change a value of doors to six now what I what I'm trying to teach you here on this video here is that we can do whatever we want to do all right once we create an instance we can change the properties we can uh, have methods to change the properties we can go manually here and change it we can leave it empty and then go ahead down here and start using it however we want all right I mean there are many different things that we can do here I just want you to get some practice on this so watch the video here practice on your own create a another class if you want all right you can create another class right below this one 
and call it coloring car or something like that. Create some colors, create some properties for for you know for your class. Create some methods that will do things in your class. Practice, practice, practice. It makes perfection. All right. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully, I was able to give you some knowledge here on how to use properties inside the class along with methods. Take care and I'll see you in the next lecture.